Let's take a look at the steric number for CH4. This is methane. So when we talk about steric number, what we want to find is the number of atoms that are bonded to the central atom, to the central carbon here, and the number of lone pairs around that central carbon as well. So we need a valid Lewis structure in order to find the steric number for CH4 here. So here's our Lewis structure, and if you need help with this, there's a link at the end of the video. So we add up the number of atoms bonded to the central atom. We have one, two, three, four atoms bonded to the carbon and the number of lone pairs on the central carbon. There aren't any lone pairs on the central carbon because all of these pairs of electrons, they're involved in chemical bonds. So we end up with a steric number of four for methane because we have four things bonded to it. There are no lone pairs. Steric number is useful when we're trying to figure out the molecular geometry for a molecule like CH4. In this case, because we have a steric number of four with no lone pairs, we have a tetrahedral molecular geometry. Link at the end of this video if you need help with that. This is Dr. B looking at the steric number of CH4 methane. Thanks for watching.